Welcome to Sujata Ma'am's classroom. To teach children, to reach children. Jaya of learning. Archimedes was a brilliant mind. He lived in ancient Greece. He was born in Syracuse, Sicily. Archimedes was a mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor and astronomer. He is considered one of the greatest mathematicians of ancient history. Archimedes made groundbreaking discoveries in geometry and calculus. He developed practical inventions like the Archimedes screw. His inventions were used for irrigation and warfare. He is also known for his contributions to military technology. Archimedes helped defend Syracuse against a Roman siege. Ancient Greece was a period of great intellectual and cultural flourishing. This era is known as the Classical Period. It lasted from the 5th to the 4th centuries BC. During this time, Greece was a centre of learning. Philosophers like Socrates, Plato and Aristotle challenged conventional thinking. They made significant contributions to philosophy, logic and ethics. This period also saw advancements in mathematics. Mathematicians like Euclid and Pythagoras developed fundamental geometric principles. These principles are still studied and applied today. Ancient Greece was a time of innovation that laid the groundwork for future scientific advancements. King Hiero II of Syracuse had a problem. He had given a goldsmith a specific weight of gold to make a crown. The crown was magnificent. However, the king suspected the goldsmith might have cheated him. The king was worried that the goldsmith had mixed in silver. Silver was less valuable than gold. The king wanted to know the truth without destroying the crown. He needed a way to determine the crown's composition. The king turned to Archimedes. Archimedes was renowned for his problem-solving abilities. The king tasked him with finding a solution. Archimedes pondered the problem for days. He knew that gold and silver had different densities. Density is the mass of an object per unit volume. Gold is denser than silver. This means a certain volume of gold weighs more than the same volume of silver. Archimedes needed to find a way to measure the crown's volume accurately. He struggled to find a solution. One day, while taking a bath, Archimedes observed the water level rising as he immersed himself in the tub. It was at that moment that inspiration struck him. He realized he could use this observation to solve the king's problem. Archimedes was so excited by his realization that he jumped out of the bath. He ran through the streets naked, shouting, Eureka! Eureka! Which translates to, I have found it! I have found it! Archimedes had discovered the principle of buoyancy. This principle states that an object submerged in a fluid experiences an upward force. The force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. This realization was a pivotal moment in scientific history. It laid the foundation for understanding how objects float and the relationship between volume, density and buoyancy. Section 6. The Science of Buoyancy Archimedes' principle of buoyancy revolutionised our understanding of how objects behave in fluids. This principle, discovered over 2,000 years ago, remains fundamental in modern science and engineering. The principle states that the buoyant force acting on a submerged object is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. This concept is crucial in designing ships, submarines and even understanding natural phenomena. This means that if an object is denser than the fluid it's submerged in, it will sink because the weight of the object is greater than the buoyant force. For example, a rock will sink in water because its density is higher than that of water. Conversely, if an object is less dense than the fluid, it will float. This is why a piece of wood or a plastic ball will stay on the surface of the water. This is because the buoyant force is greater than the object's weight, pushing it upward. This upward force is what allows objects like life vests to keep people afloat in water. This principle explains why boats, despite their weight, can float. Boats are designed to displace enough water to create a buoyant force that supports their weight. They displace a volume of water whose weight equals the boat's weight. This balance between the weight of the boat and the displaced water is what keeps the boat afloat, allowing it to carry heavy loads across vast distances. 
Section 7, Archimedes' Experiments. In this section, we delve into the fascinating world of Archimedes, one of the greatest scientists of ancient Greece. To prove his theory, Archimedes conducted a series of meticulous experiments. His approach was methodical and precise, reflecting his deep understanding of scientific principles. He took two objects of equal weight, one made of gold and the other of silver. These objects were carefully selected to ensure accuracy in his experiments. He submerged each object in a container filled to the brim with water. This step was crucial as it allowed him to observe the displacement of water caused by each object. Archimedes carefully measured the volume of water that overflowed in each case. His attention to detail was remarkable, ensuring that no drop of water was overlooked. He observed that the silver object displaced more water than the gold object. This observation was significant as it provided a clear indication of the difference in volume between the two materials. This confirmed that the silver object had a larger volume than the gold object, even though they weighed the same. This experiment was a testament to Archimedes' ingenuity and his ability to apply scientific principles to solve real-world problems. Archimedes then tested the king's crown. The king had suspected that his crown was not made of pure gold, and Archimedes' experiment was designed to reveal the truth. He submerged it in water and measured the volume of water displaced. This step was critical in determining the crown's composition. He compared this volume to the volume of water displaced by an equal weight of pure gold. The comparison was essential to verify the crown's material. The crown displaced more water, indicating it was not made entirely of gold. This discovery not only validated Archimedes' hypothesis, but also exposed the deception in the crown's composition. Section 8. Applications of Archimedes' Principles Archimedes' principles have far-reaching applications that extend beyond ancient times. They are fundamental to our understanding of fluid mechanics, which is crucial in many scientific and engineering disciplines. These principles are used in various fields, including shipbuilding, submarine design and hot air ballooning, showcasing their versatility. In shipbuilding, Archimedes' principle is used to design ships that can float and carry heavy loads efficiently. By carefully calculating the shape and volume of a ship's hull, engineers can optimize the design for maximum buoyancy and stability. Engineers ensure that it displaces enough water to support its weight and cargo, making it seaworthy and safe. In submarine design, the principle of buoyancy is used to control the submarine's depth and maneuverability underwater. By adjusting the amount of water in ballast tanks, the submarine can change its buoyancy. This allows the submarine to increase or decrease its overall density, enabling it to dive, surface or maintain a specific depth. This precise control is essential for various underwater operations, ensuring the submarine's effectiveness and safety in diverse conditions. Section 9. A Legacy of Discovery Archimedes' discoveries have left an enduring legacy on science and engineering. His Eureka moment, which led to the discovery of the principle of buoyancy, is a testament to the power of observation and critical thinking. His work laid the foundation for future scientists and engineers to explore and understand the world around us. Archimedes' principles continue to be applied in countless modern technologies. They are essential for understanding fluid behaviour in everything from weather patterns to the flow of blood in our bodies. His story serves as an inspiration to all who seek to unravel the mysteries of the universe.